This is Twit. Hey, what's happening, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt. I am the host of Hands Off Photography here at Twit. But today I want to talk about a set of true wireless earbuds that I have received a couple weeks ago to try out before their initial launch. And these come from the folks at Buyer Dynamic. Now, if you've been following the, f- the feed here for the last uh, year or so, you know I've had my hands on some of the other products offered by Biodynamic, including a microphone, uh, which was quite nice in comparison to something like this How PR40. But what I really enjoyed was their uh, studio headphones, which I s- still have over here somewhere. <laughs> the studio headphones, the DT700s uh, in that pro line they were quite nice so they said you know what hey Aunt, we appreciate you uh let's let's uh, have you try out these new true wireless earbuds and they're called the free birds and yes that's all they are they're just earbuds you know pretty standard right all right let's face it there's not much you can say about earbuds this day and age because i mean the technology can only do so much but i'm going to give you a brief rundown not going to take up a lot of your time let you know the quick tech specs, the stuff that I like and the stuff that I don't like. All right. So here goes from a tech spec standpoint, we have them listed at IPX4 rating. So you're not going to be able to just dunk these into a, a pool of water or anything like that. So they are splash resistant, which means they're good enough to go out and about and run around do your workouts and things like that. OK, so IPX4 rating. Uh, they have active noise cancellation or A and C, and you can pair that up with the iPhone app or the Google play app. Uh, this, I believe it's called my, my free birds or my birds. And it just basically allows you to go in and set up different EQ settings, set up the active noise cancellation to turn it off or on, or even set up what they call a transparency mode, which I found quite interesting. Because when you turn off the noise cancellation, if these earbuds are securely in your ear, you know, you, you, you can't hear a lot of the ambient sound outside because they're securely in your ear and it pretty much blocks off everything in your ear canal. Uh, but the transparency mode allows you to be able to pick up things like a, say, an announcer inside of a train station or uh, if your dogs are barking or snoring next to you on the floor, you can hear that. Uh, but it's not necessarily in a disturbing way. It's just to allow you to have a, a bit of the the outside world, if you will, uh, be able to be a- available to you while you're enjoying your favorite podcast or or album. And I thought that was quite nice. The noise cancellation on it is OK. Uh, I think there are other products out there that's doing it a little bit better from a noise cancellation standpoint, but it's OK. It, it does make things sound a little bit better. The audio quality on this Some people really, really enjoy the audio quality on this. I like the audio quality, but not as much as I enjoyed it on those uh, studio headphones that I've tested out in the past. Why? Because these are really, really bass heavy. Yes, they they really pushed up the low end of that um, frequency in these. And you can really boom, 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 boom (laughs) the audio in your ears. Some people love that. That's not particularly my my style, my taste. I'd much rather have a more balanced uh, frequency profile on these, but that's just me. Um, the high end of the audio does it's, it's theirs, but it's, again, it's overpowered by the low end. So you lose a little bit on the high end. When I'm listening to something classical, like something from Hans Zimmer, I just get more rumble when I'd rather hear all of the different voices in that track that he and his team has created. Okay. So now let's take a look at the actual design of them again. So let me switch my camera here. They're, again, they're, they're nicely designed. These are pretty high quality Biodynamic does not really skimp out when it comes to, if I can put it in camera, there we go. When it comes to putting these together, uh, very, very nice detail on them. And you see, it's got the little label in, it's got the name, all of that good stuff that just, just looks good aesthetically uh, from a design standpoint. All right. Something else that I do like about them is like right now I have one of them in my ears. Okay. So This is my studio in-ear monitors. And this one over here is actually one of the earbuds. You could see it from, you know, 
just a little bit more so than you would see other earbuds in your ear. And I like that because I'm somebody that likes to wear earbuds out in public (laughs) while I'm doing my grocery shopping or things like that. And there's a lot of times people will walk right up to me and just start talking and totally disregard the fact that I have earbuds in my ear and listening to an audio book while I'm trying to pick through my different groceries on the shelf. Uh, these are clearly obvious and people didn't necessarily walk up to me because they could see them just barely sticking out of my ears just a touch. Some people don't like that and that's fine. They want something that's going to be a little bit more discreet in your ears. Nope. I'm totally fine with these sticking out. They feel good and they sound pretty good for what you're going to get out of them. Uh, right. Pricing on these. These are going to cost you $249. We will have a link in this uh, description here. So you can check them out for yourself. I think this is a pretty decent value uh, coming in with the beautiful design, the IPX rating, the noise canceling. You're pairing it with an app. Uh, You even get uh, like Google Assistant or as they're marketing, you get Amazon's Alexa service built right in. I don't use Amazon Alexa, but it does allow me to tap into Google Assistant on my Pixel 6 Pro. And it, it's OK. Uh, I thought you're supposed to tap and hold. And every now and then it doesn't necessarily activate because it activates the playback options for when you're listening to audio. So that's something that could be worked out a little bit in firmware updates. I think they'll be fine. But you do have that capability if you want it. But again, pricing. 249 bucks. We will have a link in the show notes. I want to say thank you again to Buyer Dynamic uh, for sending these over for me to test out. Hey, make sure you subscribe to my show, Hands On Photography. Just go to twit.tv slash hop and uh, check out all of the other information that I have there for my show. All right, folks, that's going to do it. Y'all take care. See ya.